you used to be a Christian on fire, but fill in the blank. So this video will discuss one possibility. Now, we're going to start with a question. In Galatians 5, 7, we read the following. You were running well. Who hindered you from obeying the truth? See, sometimes we don't think that our circle of friends or uh, environment can really mold us. But the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, 33, do not be deceived. Bad company corrupts good morals. And you know what's wonderful is that the Bible provides a good idea, a good solution. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 22. Now flee from youthful lusts and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. Now why should we do this? We know that something's about to happen. You've seen the news. Revelation 22, 7. And behold, I am coming quickly. Blessed is he who heeds the words of the prophecy of this book. And certainly we want to be in favor with Jesus before his second coming. Now, yes, Christian friends may let us down, but you can recognize sincerity and you can, you know, you have a mind to be able to use. And that doesn't mean you have to give up all your old friends, but act wisely according to biblical principles. Because this next part would be really nice. Psalm 119, 1 and 2. How blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. How blessed are those who observe his testimonies, who seek him with all their heart. So will your surroundings encourage you to seek the Lord with all your heart or discourage you?